alternative dispute resolution, otherwise known as ADR, is a series of processes and solutions aimed at reducing the need for litigation and helping the parties to reach an out-of-court settlement. It may include things such as negotiation, mediation, or arbitration. In many cases, but not all, it can reduce the cost of litigation and it can provide the parties with greater flexibility. Negotiation is one of the three primary forms of ADR. It involves the use of leverage, persuasion, and tactics to help move the other party to a point where a, an agreement may be possible. There is no one single way to negotiate. Rather, negotiation is a transformative art, meaning it reacts to the circumstances. I like to structure my negotiations as a three-tier structure. One is information gathering. You want to know as much about your opposing party as possible. You want to know their emotions. You want to know why they want the property. You want to know how much the property is valued. All this information is important to understanding the tactics and choosing the right strategies that will lead to the best outcome. The second portion is negotiation. Negotiation is not static. It can occur in emails, text messages, voice calls, or a variety of other contexts. It the third and final step is settlement. When the parties reach an agreement, it needs to be reduced to writing and signed by both parties. This is often a difficult and confusing step because it can become a negotiation within the negotiation. A term here or a term there can severely affect the outcome of a negotiation, meaning it's a very important step. Mediation is the second primary form of ADR. It involves the use of a mediator. A mediator is a neutral third party, meaning that although he is employed by both parties, he represents neither party. Mediation is meant to provide boundaries and guidelines for negotiations between the parties. Depending on the level of involvement of the mediator, they can often help to guide the negotiations in a matter that may increase the chance of settlement. Where one party is being aggressive, the mediator may take a step back and redirect the parties towards a more neutral position where they can then discuss the matter and hopefully come to an agreement. The mediator may use things such as caucuses, which is taking the parties into separate rooms and discussing the issues. They may use things such as shuttle negotiation, where the parties cannot be in the same room as each other. The mediator acts as that third arm that walks between the rooms and communicates offers and information to the other parties. Mediators are often used by courts. They're often used in civil litigation and family litigation. Arbitration is the final and third form of ADR. It is akin to a court proceeding without being a court proceeding. An arbitrator is selected between the parties. He is a non-court officer in most cases. The contract governs the arbitration between the parties and gives the arbitrator the power to settle matters. The parties may present evidence. At the end of the presentation, the arbitrator decides what the outcome of the engagement is. Both parties may be bound by the arbitrator's decision or may not be depending on the underlying contract. Arbitration is an alternative to litigation. It is often one of the less used methods in family matters, but is often used in business. Now the legal disclaimers. I only practice law in Colorado, meaning if you are in another state, please contact an attorney within that state that can provide you with legal services. Every situation is different. Any information provided within this video is not intended to be legal advice, but rather general information about the processes. Law and the law cannot represent you until you sign a formal engagement letter. 
your situation is very unique. Your facts define what the law will be.